Organizing your vehicle is very important when living on the road or just traveling. So today we will show you how we organized our great escape for life on the road. In a previous video, I showed you how to turn your SUV into a car camper, complete with bed and storage. Today I will show you how to organize to maximize your space. So let's begin at the back of the vehicle with our two drawers. In our first drawer, we have our propane stove, along with propane and the utensils, spatulas, tongs, etc. Now in our other drawer, we have all of our cooking utensils, pots and pans, silverware, spices, aluminum foil things of that nature. To make it a little more organized, we actually used one of the kitchen silverware organizers to divide our things up. This one was extremely nice because it expands to the width of your drawer, so whatever the size your drawer is, it fits it perfectly. This way it keeps everything divided and organized. For our spices, we also used a small Tupperware container that fits the spices perfectly, so it keeps them from rattling around in the back. Now we move to the space beneath the drawers where the jack compartment had been previously, but with it removed, we have lots of extra storage space. On one side, we have some extra towels, along with all the books that we picked up along the way. On the other side, we have all of our car essentials, jack, tow rope, bungee straps, pump, etc. We also keep our large cooking pan underneath there as well. It was kind of bulky, and we had extra space down there, so it fits the mold. And on top of all that is our tray table. You can watch our cooking setup video to see how that fits together with our drawer to make our table for cooking on. Just remember, if you put things underneath the drawers, you will have to remove them to get to them. So make sure you don't put things down there that you'll need every day. So with our setup, we ended up having small openings on the sides of our frame. This was a great spot for all your odds and ends. This is where we keep things like clotheslines, ratchet straps, zip ties, extra batteries, clothespins, things of that nature. Now you also have all the compartments that are already built into the vehicle. This one on the far back right we use for all of our newspaper for starting fires. There are also two small storage areas in the back that work great for a can of bear spray. Also for a pair of socks so when the night gets cold you have them close. Now we're going to move up to the side. This is where we store most of our food. On the back part we have two extra gallons of water because it's never a bad idea to have extra water on hand. We also have another one of those plastic totes up here too, same one that we used in the back for the spices. It fits spaghetti well, but you can put whatever you'd like. In front of that, we have two fabric totes that fit perfectly into the space. Inside those, we keep our dry and canned goods. The rest of our food sits in front in random Tupperware containers. We always try to buy food with reusable containers, that way we don't have to buy Tupperware as well. Some of our favorite containers to use are the large dried food containers. We purchase a lot anyways, and when empty, they were great for dry food such as oatmeal or trail mix. We also get a great use out of the Talenti container. Every once in a while we splurge to get ice cream, and as a benefit, we get a Tupperware out of it. On the side of each door, you have another factory storage compartment. We usually keep flip-flops or garbage bags here. In the front door compartments, we try to keep our essentials. Silverware, bear spray, can opener, anything you're probably going to need every day. Now in the front, you have the obvious glove box, center console. But in our center console, we actually removed the factory tub that they have inside there and made a lot more space. There's also extra space underneath your seat as well as underneath the dash by your feet. Some other tips we've learned along the way is if you shove plastic bags down between your seatbelt and the center console, it works good at keeping the dog hair and dust out of the hole. And if you're looking for a good place to put your phone or keys at night, or just a flashlight for when you're reading, get one of these shower racks. They suction cup right to the window. Another important thing to remember is that anything that you do not organize underneath your bed will have to be sitting on the bed. Then when it's time to go to sleep, you'll have to move it, and the more things you have up there, the more of an inconvenience it will be. That's why we utilize the space behind the driver's seat. 
When the seat is moved forward, you have a lot of space that you could store blankets, coats, or shoes. I've seen a lot of people that build boards over this to make a platform for your feet, but we just leave it open. We also have a car topper, which helps greatly with organization. We have most of our bulky things that we don't use a lot, but still need. This way it keeps it out of our way in the car. And one last tip, when shopping or organizing, make sure you get things that fit inside each other to save space, or things that have multi-functions. They'll be a lifesaver for you on the road. Hey guys, if you found those tips useful, make sure to hit that like button. And as always, if you want to see more, click subscribe.